Fly and No Tail have been playing MOBAs together for almost a decade. They've played on the same teams for most of their lives, in the same games, in the same roles. They've grown together, won together, and even lost together. But they've done something few other players have. Together, they've built one of the most stable orgs in Dota history, with four major wins to their name. And it all started because the two men who led OG found a brotherhood through Dota, a connection they wanted to share with a team of their own. This is their story. Tal Fly Isaac and Johan Notail Sunstein met through video games when they were 14. Fly grew up in Israel and Canada with fitness and exercise as a core part of his identity. His father trained him in martial arts, instilling in him a sense of how important discipline is to any serious competitor, and that became a core part of his leadership style. In Denmark, Notail grew up obsessed with video games. That obsession developed into a dream, and soon he decided to dedicate himself to them full time while he was still in high school. Their paths first crossed online in Heroes of New Earth, one of several MOBAs that cropped up between Dota and Dota 2. The pair eventually signed with a Fnatic roster that is considered one of the best in that game's history, with wins at DreamHack Winter 2010 and 2011, and DreamHack Summer 2011 and 2012. But as Han began to wind down, Fnatic's roster transitioned to Dota. The team didn't pick up too many wins early on, but were a consistent presence in the top eight of various tournaments, and most notably picked up a win over No Tide Hunters, soon to be legendary roster at Thor Open 2012. Advantage of this, Loda on the low ground does get that in reverse polarity coming out of Hani. He's gonna skewer it back into Era, and a crit instantly kills three heroes from No Tide Hunter. Loda dies before he gets to do anything. 3,000 damage. And Admiral Bulldog dies as well, and no Tidehunter calls the good game. Despite coming short of placing first at a significant tournament, the team was invited to the International 2013 and played well in the group stage. This could be the last fight. If it goes poorly for Nobby, could cost them the game. Phonic blown up instantly by the carapace of No-Tail. Now Havos, that's two to fall. They want more. Trixie on the backside, they're chopping away. They're slapping them down, and Navi get 2 0 by Fnatic. 0-2 in Group A, one of your favorites. Team wiped an exclamation point on an outstanding performance. Damn. 35 to 13, Navi just got rolled. Although their early tournament performance was respectable, the bracket phase of the competition proved to be too great a hurdle for Fnatic to overcome. Oh, he's gonna go down right now, double kill for Mushi. Buyback by Doxia, buyback by the that SF, but Mushi, he is destroying Triple Ultra, and he will take the top Rex, and GG comes out. Fnatic have been eliminated by the Malaysians. Orange will advance themselves forward. The next season didn't treat Fnatic much better. The team performed well at qualifiers and minor events, but the bigger, better teams always won out at premieres. But through their formative years with Fnatic, Fly and No Tail's signature styles became apparent. No Tail was the team's leader. He was brash, loud, and animated. I'm here with No Tail from Fnatic, or as I've now been informed, Big Daddy? Yep, that's right. Why? Why not? Fly, on the other hand, became a student of the game. He was the man behind Fnatic's drafts and served as a calming presence for the team. Even inside, if I think I would probably lose, I would still say I'm gonna win because it helps your mentality. Outside of Dota 2, they were the best of friends. But that chemistry alone was not enough to carry Fnatic to victory against the game's best teams. They're gonna keep on chasing. He's got his BKB black hole and he wants to turn it around then. Arteezy actually finds Dota on the backside. He gets a double kill, breaks down, flies well. I believe they used the feed script there to secure those and looking for more. Oh, in the end, they'll bring down three and GG, GG Fnatic. Unfortunately, Fnatic, oh man, that's that's tough. They had a lead in game one. It wasn't a massive lead, but it was definitely a game which they felt they should have won. Fnatic would make it back to TI in 2014, 
but this time they bombed out in the group stage. Pugner is still back here. He's trying to free now. He actually got him. He actually managed to free now the Nagasaren. They'll both fly back. Shadow Shunham as well as Nagasaren. And the rapier is in the hands of nature's prophet. The damage is too much. No fortification for Fnatic. It's over. Mouth game. Fly and No-Tail were the first to leave Fnatic following their abrupt TI4 exit. The duo joined up with legendary Natus Vincere players Puppy and Kuroki and Alliance's S4 to form Team Secret. According to No-Tail, the organization was supposed to be something different. Most Dota teams would switch rosters just days after a tournament if they didn't win. Secret was intended to be a place where the players would work things out instead. And at first, it looked like things boys, were going according to plan. Well, we'll they see. see that gun. The purge goes down, and they're going to be able to follow up with the hook shot. He still got off the BKB, though. Now he's going to turn this fight so damn low. But Bulma in some serious trouble. He's going to be taken out. Kuro running right through heroes. Korok's going to fall as well. And GG is the call from the US team. They are done being punished like this. Team Secret will quickly claim. Game number two. But behind the scenes, that wasn't the case. Fly was removed from the support role and pushed to position two. He wasn't leading the team and he wasn't drafting. He was out of his element and unable to show what had made him so valuable to Fnatic. I've seen this before in other games as well, and, and actually in Dota 2 as well, but where you build a super, super team and inevitably one of the players is highlighted as the weak link, as it were, and He's been highlighted as that already, but that doesn't mean he's a bad player. I mean, By December, Secret kicked Fly. Fly ended up wandering for a bit, playing for Me Pwned, an EU stack, and eventually Complexity Gaming in NA. No Tail didn't stick around much longer. By January, he was off Secret as well and went to Cloud9. It was the first time Fly and No Tail ever played on different teams. From January to August 2015, the brotherhood forged by Dota was broken up. Neither player made any significant waves leading up to TI5, but the tournament brought them back together, only on opposite sides of the battlefield. Complexity stomped C9 2-0 in the group stage, but both teams would end up drowning in the deeper waters of the lower bracket. After a season of playing apart with little success between them, Fly and No-Tail decided something needed to change. Major and TI victories had escaped the duo's grasp time after time. They weren't young rising stars anymore. They were veterans that had supposedly hit their peak and they weren't going to get signed as a package deal. But Fly and No-Tail knew they were better together. They were tired of teams kicking players right after TI. The knee-jerk decision always seemed to make sense in the moment, but it rarely panned out. So they put their heads together and built something new. An organization that believed in working through mistakes and focused on developing a core set of players. They built the foundation of OG, monkey business. We wanted people to feel comfortable, to be able to share whatever they have to say, and, and just, you know, you know, have some fun together while still working towards the same goal. So it was two different things combined. Fly brought Moon Meander with him from Complexity, and the team went on to recruit Crit, a longtime Danish player who had yet to get a big break on a major team. And then there was Miracle, a pub star with the highest MMR in the world. With Fly and No Tail's philosophy of positivity and perseverance fueling them, the new roster announced themselves to the Dota world. It's rapidly gonna be burned out of all of this mid. He backed in Big Daddy Bruno tells you've been controlled right now, but the Shallow Grave's still there. Iceberg's dead they're as all, well. Dead. That's, it's everything. 27 to 8. They got one kill in exchange for like seven. And Goretz is coming back to look around to be the eighth. And GG is going to be called before that can happen. This will finish off the Queen of Pain and Seal Kid. He'll just die to right clicks. Miracle uses the ultimate. Requiem of Souls will connect on two. Era with nowhere to go. He's just going to stand his ground and fall. Now the Yules put up on the Witch Doctor. Handscan's going to get taken out. Ends up being a four for two, and that's it. Good game is called. NIP will oh, fall 2-0 to Monkey Business. After qualifying for the Frankfurt Major, Monkey Business rebranded as OG and entered their second ever LAN tournament with tons of promise. Pundits felt that OG was strong, but too green to lift the trophy. In terms of LAN experience, uh, the players individually on OG has a lot, but as a team, they're yet to perform. Uh, they were at MLG as their first LAN together, and they went out pretty early on. At first, OG proved them right. 
The group stage was rough, and two losses to Vega Squadron forced them down to the lower bracket. He goes down, loses the Divine Rapier, that was everything OG had! And now Vega Squadron on the victory march straight through middle lane will be your second team in the top bracket from this group. For any other team, that would have been the end of the line. The road to victory was too long and riddled with a gauntlet of Dota 2's most dangerous teams. But OG was built to prevail through adversity. Fly and No-Tail's veteran experience resulted in a team that was made to work together and win. And they did. They're gonna yeah, talk they're most of they them. Do. We go straight in onto DJ. There's the jump forward. Fisher as well. In comes Crit with the balls and they'll try and turn oh, around a little bit. So and there's damage. a mega kill streak for Crit. Fnatic can they turn? They get the Winter Spurs up onto Miracle. He's gonna be able to live through them. Oh, oh, he's not dead. Guys, you keep him alive. He'll finally go down. So it's a one for one. No telling. This is really good. He's locked up again. There's your Echo Stab for Moon. Oh, the but armor toggle. They're all gonna die. Maybe OG oh, will maybe die. Not. No. Miracle with the armor toggle keeps himself oh, alive. Get him off. It's a team wipe against Fnatic. Mineski came next and crumbled under OG's might. He's gonna get silent. Shards come out as well, but the Soros there to heal. Ice Blast to fly across, and that's a nice Sonic wave. They'll get the Night Stalker, but no tail starting to go to work. Miracle as well with the Reckon. There's a Snowball to buy them sometime, but they've lost the Drought. They've lost the AA. They're gonna lose the Tusk. They're going to lose the Venge. Four dead. Only Cuckoo surviving, and GG is called. It's all too much for Mineski. OG just outclassing them this series. Next was Virtus Pro. OG's first challenge, but OG rallied after a first game loss and took the series 2-1. Let's see if they can find the jump here. They've got the vision moves there with the crossers of Phobos. Five strikes as well. Moon plus the BKB. But they'll pick up this Phobos here in the snowball. Ice Park gets laid out. Crit, he's been caught out. He's gonna get stunned up. They'll lose the Darks here, but they will find the Bane in response to fly with the grave though. Crit, he's gonna be kept alive for the nightmare. Crit's not dead yet. And he might get himself out now. He will oh, fall, in trouble. But oh, they get the heal set off but he's so low. He will go down as well. Double kill for Miracle. It's a three for one. They get FNG as well. Oh, they're they're all... the TP. The crush is there. It's gonna be a team. Why triple kill for Miracle? After casting aside CDEC Gaming, eHome, and TI5 Champions Evil Geniuses, OG had finally made it to the Grand Finals. It's been an incredible story, and the first team ever to come from the very first round best of one games and reach a Grand Final at a Valve sponsored event. There, they faced Team Secret, the team that kicked Fly and No Tail all those months ago. The team that led them to play a part the team that OG was built to be better than. Walks in, the smoke's gonna break, and Weeha, well, there's your crush from Misery. Massive falls it down for the snowball, dragging fly up with the Sonic Wave. It's so hard on OG, but they got so much life. The puppy dropping down low, there's two heroes lost. Probably gonna be a first Misery, so low and fly. The cold and breath gets him up. Weeha will die from the fall. It's a double kill for Veritel. It's four kills for OG. They can fight this five, but that's gonna be it. In fact, they just call it before the tiny is up. GG. OG will take game number one. Moon with the blood mail up, blade mail up. There's no way he can fight. Pilot Eye stay, sitting in the trees for as long as possible. Supports arrive with Miracle getting the sun over on Misery. He'll go down as well. And we are cursed up. Secret, they've committed too much. Envy might be in this fight, but he's not doing enough work. So you get the buyback out from Pilot Eye. They need his control in this engagement, but OG. They've kind of already won. They've burned through the Queen of Pain and Puppy with a split of blast. Actually, with a concoction as well. He can't do enough. He'll end up dying. Pilai die. Here's your dieback. Four heroes down from Team Secret. You want to go with the Shadow Blade? He's going to come underneath the Observer and Sentry one. They can see him clearly. They can feel a trigger against the BKB off as well as the Oldie. Attacking into Clockwork. Gets the bat. The Hookshot won't get him out of here. But Miracle catching Weeha. And with the curse, two minutes on the sideline. Buyback is available. The Pilai dies on the run. The Homing Missile chasing him. But oh! Oh. Miracle! Just knocked all over him! Secret would momentarily halt OG's momentum in Game 3. And with that roll forward, Crip at least can't try and blink himself up the misery, equal to the task, and that is a team wipe. But in Game 4, the Green Machine would not be denied. 18 seconds without spin, Miracle is beating into that melee Rex, and now he actually steals spin as well. He can take a little bit of the damage off and a blink three man crush. Envy looking for the damage more, but the concoction is going to be there. How much have they got? Misery forced half him away. We are there. There's your Requiem from Miracle with the Rages combined. Secret, they've taken too much damage. OG have got it. They've got the TG out from Secret. OG, they fight all the way through the lower bracket and will be clean the champions of the first ever Dota 2 Major live here in front.
Frankfurt. With that victory, Fly and No Tail lifted their first Valve trophy to cap off the most incredible lower bracket run in Dota 2's storied history. A huge run, the dream run. Achieving what no other team has done. And no other team will probably achieve for a very long time. Secret would avenge themselves at the Shanghai Major a few months later, knocking OG into the lower bracket, which this time OG could not recover from. But despite their lapse in form, OG stuck together and kept pushing, all the way to the Manila Major, which they would conquer from the upper bracket. OG are doing it, Liquid! They can withstand the punishment! OG are the Manila Major Champions! Things were looking good for OG in 2016, but at TI, the team that had looked so good all year bombed out after back-to-back -back losses to MVP Phoenix and colossal underdogs, TNC. The mid, do they go for a GG push? Yep, they are. They're attacking the tier four towers. Array the jump forward. Crit, he needs help now. That wall, will it be enough? Cuckoo's still there in the chronosphere. Caught two! Cuckoo right next to it! No tell's gonna go down! No buyback! They go for the tier four! Hammer's out! Arabia's gone! Is it dead? Has TNC done the impossible? Two time major winners! You are gone! Eliminated on day number two of TI6. OG's early TI exit was a tough pill to swallow for No Tail and Fly. I feel like as a team and myself, I wasn't able to get in tune with everyone. Like, I also felt like I was talking way less. This tournament it brings out something like the other tournaments don't either. Like, forget strategy, we're the strategy, the part, and, and it doesn't matter, you know, we could be like. At super, like way better than other team, but they have that fire, and we don't, we're gonna lose. This time, change was unavoidable. Crit, Miracle, and Moon Meander left, and were replaced by Jerax, S4, and Ana. But Fly and No Tail, the spirit of OG, were still there, and they had no plans of giving up. With their new lineup, OG bounced back from the disappointment of TI at the Boston Major, only dropping two games en route to capturing an impressive third Valve Major title. You guys redid your entire team, and you did it again! You two are the only survivors, and that's your third Major! How? How is this possible? How have you done it? Uh, I mean, there's definitely thanks to these three. No, no way, and of course Coach Seb, but... Uh... I mean, we, we just we just play like some, we're, we're oldies, you know? We, we just play some rusty Dota and then we get carried. <laughs> In spring of 2017, OG attended the Kiev Major, making it all the way to the Grand Finals. They've never lost a major final either. They've had three out of three so far. They're in their fourth final uh, as an organization. I wonder whether that will stay on as well. Their opponent, Virtus Pro, came into the series hot. They had only dropped two games the entire tournament and were being hailed for their incredible flexibility and ferocious team fighting. G Gaming start to outplay BP down the stretch here and now they've got them on the run. They damage no one, they chase forward. RTK's there, but now the combo! Vacuum, Static Storm, absolute destruction! VG Gaming, the door slams shut and cuts them off at the hands. VP right now look absolutely incredible. As the only CIS team in the bracket stage, VP had the crowd at their backs. And now, face to face with the defending champions, they looked poised to drag OG into a bloodbath. Will they be the ones to stop OG? OG took game one. A quick Yule Scepter. They need to get him out of here. The Agency Mortal is still up for the RP. Connects beautifully from Pasha. Pull him back in. No one. This time, no, 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 no on OG. Will the damage be enough? Not with no tell. Summons the life back in again. Agency Mortal will trigger. Pasha, he's ticking out at the moment. He will die. Oh, the Another control. Was. It's just too much control. No one. Spun up into the air once more. Comes down into the sun strike. And that will put him on the noggin. Solo, he's dragged out. Everyone's gone 
GG! But VP answered back by taking two games in a row. So remember they have a special one to bring him back in. The Observer Sentry, the RP, it catches Anna. This could be big. The Wukong Command, however, on the back lines. Rock may turn this fight around, but Anna gets the distance. He won't kill off Solo. Instead, it's no one. He's the one doing the murdering at the back horse. Two down for the moment. The Nova will trigger, but all the sun's up is the goal. But inside the base, it is the king of ludicrous damage. It is Ramsey's triple kill at GG. Yep, they're coming in. The stun is already there. They found Anna S4. Yule Scepter will send up the Dragonite. Sets him up for the skewer back. No one's not part of this fight. Maybe with the Stone Gaze. They're keeping no one out of the engagement, allowing Anna and Notel to focus on the Immortal. I don't know why they want to do that. Ramsey's still alive down to one third life. The Rock will drop. Gets the extra stun. They're bouncing around. Double buybacks required. No RP like still available. They come back in. The three man RP. The damage. It needs to happen right now. But no one's just standing his ground and doing the work. This should be it. It should be GG because you've got OG one foot in the grave and now they're about to be pushed in by the Russians. But as pro, they have wiped OG from the face of the earth and are now one game up in the Kiev Major Grand Final. Following game three, morale was low, but after years in the trenches together, No Tail and Fly weren't too worried. Think about it this way, this is what I'm doing. I'm gonna have another thousand Dota games. I might as well enjoy them, each one of them. Uh, no reason to be sad or mad about any of them. I'm happy that we're here and yeah, we have this, this chance. Game. It's not over, nothing's over. How long have we It's a reset. It's How many best of threes did we do this? Yeah, it's just two more games, After think about it. And that positive, never say die attitude was rewarded in game four. They've already got one sitting oh, between solo. the tower. Okay, that might be one way to do it. Onto Jirax, but Ember Spirit jumping forward with the double silence. Juggernaut as well as Crystal Maiden. Nothing they can do apart from burn. Ramsey's the TP out the rock. It actually connects. No way to TP out this one. Quick Omni Slash doesn't get the lucky bounce, and so Jirax will be able to escape. Solo will come up. Trying to actually stop this, but then again, you've got Monkey King getting caught on the way through. Ramsey's will try and be involved as well. Here goes your RP. Solo onto Anna. The Flame Guard protection. His spirit jumps forward, actually into a kill position, taking Solo. The spirit away, the skewer will work, but the defensive spirit allows him to escape. The kick, it catches two. As four, they can go for more. Will he actually put down the hole? Not required. The kills, they're all rolling away of OG. Jumping forward. There goes your rock. It connects on Pasha. He won't get the RP off. This could be it. No RP and GG well played under the cover of the black hole. OG will do what hasn't been done in four years of Dota 2 Valve tournaments. They will force a game five. VP stormed out of the gate, taking a commanding lead in game five. Before this time is the power of the Dazzle. Tip a chain forward, looking for the damage with the Chakram. They push him around, there's no tail. There's a jump forward, the Hawk stop. It connects on the OD, they're gonna kill him off. This is a big fight, if they can keep the contesting there. The Rock will fall from Warlock, combining with the Battle Bones. Jira creates a little bit more space with the Overgrowth. The damage from no tail is huge, but not enough. No one is just doing his work. He survives through this. He wants one more hit on no tail. Solo actually gets the kill because of the Fatal Bond. He got hit by the Angel. And four heroes go down for OG. The Jellic Ray will keep him alive. Jiro's got the little bit of space. Remember, he's the one carrying the gem pass. We'll duel him up. Bring him down. No tell as well. We'll fall. OG, they're falling apart. But through sheer will and determination, OG clawed their way back from the brink of annihilation. He actually gave a little bit of vision, but he wants to punch into Ramsey's. Jirax doesn't actually get the bash, however. Concoction's preparing the rock with the Fatal Bonds. will connect out. Yule Scepter, they're keeping Odi out of the fight. And the big rune, they're holding him there. But the damage, you'll drop the hammer for the bash again. He's still doing his work. No tail, this Timber Saw, he's the man doing the damage until Anna. Oh, it's a lockdown. You actually have the fight going the way of OG. From there, OG couldn't be stopped. He's just trying to gun towards whoever he can. Now the duel, it's over on Anna. He didn't get his BKB off the Hawkstone plus the Stampede. The time is there, no one. Again, a very ineffective ultimate from him. You brought down the tree, but at what cost? Sento will fall. Anna needs to do more damage. No one's so low. Anna with a double kill. Hold his ground, Randy is bad. He can't get away. Stampede, jump forward, catch out Lil. The rocks will drop, but they just don't have the damage to repel OG. Virtus Pro call it, GG. OG will be claimed for time. Dota 2 major winners here in Kiev. Unfortunately, that win at the Kiev Major is OG's last premier win. Although the team struggled yet again at TI7 and the roster may have changed, Fly and No-Tail's philosophy remains the same.
treat people the way you want to be treated. Work hard, like uh, enjoy the challenges in life and accept the failures along the way. Like they're there and you can't run away from them. Always do your best and remember to always get back up no matter where you are in life. Over the course of eight years, Fly and No-Tail have grown alongside one another, and through the solidarity and friendship they found in each other, they assembled one of Dota's most stable, successful, and beloved organizations. Whether or not they win TI during their careers remains to be seen, but one thing that can't be denied is the determination they've shown along the way to confront every challenge together. Can't stress on it more, Honestly, these two guys are not only just in the game, incredible, but out of the game. Thanks for watching. If you want more great content just like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button.